Let's calculate the derivative of the function y equals sine cubed of x squared. The first thing we have to know when calculating a derivative is which function we have that affects all the rest. Notice that in our case we have a cube, a sine, and a square. And what we want to know is which of these functions affects all the rest. Whenever we have a sine raised to a number, and this also happens with cosines, logarithms, etc. In this case we have sine cubed, the exponent 3 affects the entire sine. So this is the sine of x squared, all cubed. Why then is the function expressed as we had initially written it? Well, simply to avoid having to put in parentheses. Sometimes in mathematics things are written in an abbreviated way to avoid writing a lot, although this can confuse students. Sorry about that. However, if we want to derive the function, it's convenient to write it in the extended form. Notice that now we clearly have the exponent 3 that affects all the rest. So here we have a cube of a function. Then we have to apply the formula for the derivative of a function raised to a number, which appears on the right. Thus, this derivative would be, the 3 goes in front, now the sine of x squared will be raised to 3 minus 1, and applying the chain rule times the derivative of the inside. This becomes 3 times the sine of x squared to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 2, times the derivative of sine x squared, which is the derivative of sine and cosine of x squared, and by the chain rule, times the derivative from inside. The derivative of x squared is 2x. This is equal to 3 times 2, 6x. Now this square affects the whole sine. We write it in abbreviated form, sine squared of x squared, cosine of x squared and this is the derivative of the given function. Did you like that? I'm glad.